three months ago in September 2023, a ZooSOM student took to Reddit to make a post called The Truth about Xavier University School of Medicine in Aruba. Do not come here. I will link below in the description box that Reddit post. Check it out with the bombshells that the student makes. One of the things they talk about is the lack of mental health services and the student shares that during orientation, Xavier advertised that they have a mental health counselor and a psychiatrist associated with the school. This was a lie. The student says, when I inquired about mental health services, specifically the psychiatrist, the staff gave me the number of a psychologist, which I truly believe they're under the impression are the same thing. L-O-L. -L. And then weeks later, they explained to me that they did not, in fact, have a psychiatrist associated with the school. I had to go to a local PCP and pay $55 cash for the visit just to be told she doesn't handle patients with my conditions and doesn't know how to treat me. Fun. I can't get my prescription medication here on Aruba nor can I afford to fly home to the US every three months for a 90 day supply. I literally had to switch to a different one after I've been taking this medication for more than five years. Also, contrary to their advertising, this school is just one big money-making machine that doesn't actually give a shit about its students. Bold for emphasis. I have severe ADHD and dyslexia. Thus, for exams, I require testing accommodations. Yes, the school was willing to provide extended time on exams, but that is it. No accommodation for dyslexia, such as an e-reader, not even a separate space from other students to take my exam. Plus, I get really dirty looks from my professors because I use these accommodations. Makes me really wanna come at them with a disability rights act suit. Great question. Does the ADA apply to schools in Aruba? Well, I'm not a lawyer, but I found one on the internet. Attorney Joseph D. Lento, he has this website about litigating against Caribbean medical schools and he has a whole section on students with disabilities. The website is studentdisciplinedefense.com. Now, I'm not endorsing this website or this attorney. I'm just letting you know where I got the information from this episode from. According to Attorney Lento, the Americans with Disabilities Act does not apply beyond U.S. borders. Oh, but hold on, there's hope because Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act is a different law. And that covers students with disabilities in programs that receive federal financial assistance. This is the list on Attorney Lento's website of Caribbean medical schools that receive federal financial funding and are therefore required to follow 504 of the Rehabilitation Act. So if you are a student with disabilities and you're thinking of going the Caribbean route, this is the list of schools that are required by law to provide you with accommodations. Now you'll notice ZUSOM is not on this list. That's because ZUSOM students are not eligible to receive federal financial loans because the US government is like, hey, uh, we have standards on who we lend money to. And ZUSOM doesn't meet those standards. So you might be wondering, how do ZUSOM students afford medical school if they're not getting federal loans? Well, let's check with that Reddit post. According to our friend, ZUSOM lacks proper financial aid. This is a huge issue the school is facing right now. And remember, this was written back in September. They are not FAFSA approved, and they have lost access to the only loan they offer to students coming from the U.S. That means there are only two options for students at the moment 
one, pay out of pocket, or two, defer school until the loan comes back. They wrongfully continue to advertise this loan as available for prospective students on their school website. Oh, the head of the financial aid department, Daniel Moses, has promised students that the loan will become available again by at least January. Hey, you all, it's almost January. Let's find out if the loan comes back. However, to blindly believe that they'll suddenly have complete control over the situation within a couple of months is a seriously flawed judgment.